we, the Greens, oppose the sale of the poles and wires. It's about whether you either regulate something or whether you are trying to make the maximum dollars from it, and you can't have two, the two objectives. So it's a bad idea, quite apart from any money generated. I think the idea of building two-storey roads, digging a road underneath a road, freeways didn't work in the 1960s. The idea that we should go back 50 years and build two-storey roads is, to me, and the Greens, one of the silliest things we have ever heard. We believe that there should be a proper rail network. <laughs> They've simply got to get a tunnel boring machine and start boring tunnels. And if they go open one tunnel a year, that's one line every decade, and we'll start making some serious headway. This idea that you have toll roads and tunnels, and then that you have a parking problem at one end and a traffic jam at the other, is beyond stupidity. And there's quite a good article, if you're interested in this subject, on Action for Public Transport's website. And it basically says there was some quite good transport planning, and then there was a big bun fight behind the scenes that you didn't see or hear about, where the people who were all going to make money from their proposals for transport in Sydney basically won the day. And so it's going to be carved up to maximise profit, and basically without an overall vision and an overall plan. It's as if I was building a shed in the backyard and instead of getting a plan and building it, I said, right, let's call all the tradesmen who want to sell me stuff and let them decide what's built. Because that's what we're going to end up with the transport plan under Mr Baird, I'm sorry to say. Thank you.